Hello, today I'm going to show you how to change a catalytic converter on this 2008 Chevy Malibu. So if you're, if you have symptoms with your car, like it's hard to accelerate, it's hard to reach like 40 miles an hour or over, and it's really hard on the highway, or even on the side streets, and your RPMs are really high, and your transmission doesn't shift, um, your catalytic converter probably is clogged. So you open your hood, and there's your catalytic converter in the back. So if you want, remove your oxygen sensors, remove your upstream one and your downstream one, and go for a drive. If your car drives better, that means your catalytic converter is clogged. Get your catalytic converter behind, you gotta unscrew the bolts, it's in the back right there. You gotta remove that heat shield too, that, that metal shield. And you gotta remove your plastic uh, shield on top. To remove this this cover, you gotta go go on the side, and you see the slot right here. The slot, you put your either uh, socket or a wrench all the way right there. There's gonna be a clamp right there connected to your throttle body, and it's an eight millimeter. You remove this white clip right here, and this right here. You just press here, and it comes off. Alright, then remove this clips right here and your whole thing should go up. You want to take it out? Oh. Hold on, there's a hose there's a hose stuck right here. Alright, sorry, don't forget to remove this hose clamp right here that was connected to the the side of this cover right here. Alright, I'll be removing that heat shield in the back. There's a a bolt right here and a bolt in the back for the heat shield okay so I removed the heat shield there's just two bolts on top and one right here they're all 13 millimeters and this is how the cat looks when you remove the heat shield now we're gonna remove all those bolts in the back that's connected to your motor they're right there Okay, so I removed some nuts right here. They're all 30 millimeters. So, some of them came out with the stud, some of them just do not came out. And now the, the cat, it's, it's actually already moving. So now I gotta go underneath and, and take it out. Alright, here's my catalytic converter. I already got it out, and this is how I did it. I'm about to show it to you. You gotta go underneath the car. And right here, right here, this is your flex pipe right here. There's going to be three bolts or three nuts are going to be holding your cat. So you got to remove those three nuts. And if you want, if it's hard for you to get to those bolts, you can remove your exhaust from these hangers right here. Just, 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 slide, just slide off these hangers and you'll be able to get to those three bolts easier. You can get those three bolts out of there. And then you can pull the cat out from the top. Alright, so there, yeah, there'll be three nuts right here. One of mine broke. And then this thing moves. I don't know if it's supposed to move or not. And uh, I was going to clean this cat. I mean, it is possible to clean it. I'm going to try cleaning it. And... Um, yeah, and then you're going to have, I think, 10 of the studs to remove. And I think you're going to have one here that goes to your motor, mounts to your motor mount. I mean, I didn't have the bolt here. I don't know if it fell out or what. And this hole will be for your spark plug. Or not spark plug, uh, your oxygen sensor. This is for the upstream. So I have a, a camera that can go in here. That you can actually see inside and the top cat right here it's clogged and I'll show you a picture I'll post it right after this video I'll show you a picture how it looks and then I'll also show you a picture after that how it looks when I already cleaned it so it is possible to clean this but you'll, you'll have to get a new gasket for here for here and you'll need a new gasket for here and here's that gasket. I mean, I do gotta get a new one if I do wanna reuse this. 
and this is the one that goes for your uh, the back of the motor gasket I mean I seen this at like AutoZone they're like 10 bucks you can buy this but this one you could probably find it too or find an aftermarket one and just match up the holes also I don't know about this see I was going to reuse it but I don't know if this is broken or not and uh, all the exhaust is just going to leak out and it's going to make an exhaust leak so I might as well just order a new cat and then just scrap this one. Okay, so I received my replacement cat right here. This is how it looks. And yeah, this part does not move here. I mean, right here, they welded it on. So this part does not move on, on this cat, but on mine it moves, so maybe it is broken. And this is where your oxygen sensor is going to go here, this is your upstream one. And that's how the inside look. Not sure how good this cat is, but I'll see, I mean the reviews was good on it, and this is where, this is where the, I got it from. I mean I got it from eBay. And here's the new... That's the new gasket, the new gasket for the flex pipe, and there goes the three nuts and the three studs, right here. And this is how they look next to each other. So yeah, I'll be installing it, and yeah, there goes the three studs, the gasket, the other gasket, and the three stars are gonna spin right here, right there. So I'm gonna remove this Allen key right here, or it's an Allen size, and uh, I'm gonna put my upstream oxygen sensor in. So I removed the Allen key, or the Allen socket, or the bolt size, and I'm going to put my upstream oxygen sensor in here. Before I put it in, I'm going to put some of this on the threads, and uh, I'm going to screw it in right now so I don't have to do it later. Okay, so I put that in, you can see it, I put the thread, um, the anti-seize, and I'm about to just tighten it. this special um, socket tool for uh, oxygen sensor and this is the adapter right here this is what I'm using and it fits and yeah and you're just gonna tighten it so I grab some brake cleaner and a rag to wipe the back of the motor where the gaskets are gonna sit I'm about to clean that off I mean I already started cleaning it and I'm about to do couple more times just to clean it so when I put the gasket on you can have a good seal so I put these three studs on I put some of this um, anti-seize on the threads so for next time if I do got to remove it so next time it will be easier to remove and then I took pliers and grabbed it right here and just tightened them up so now they're all tight okay so this is a flex pipe this is gonna go to the catalytic converter and uh, maybe just clean the rust right here with a metal brush and I already have the catalytic converter in holding with three nuts on top and you can see I put the gasket in too alright so I grabbed a 13 socket long one and you can tie in those three three uh, bolts the three nuts and to get to the other one in the bottom, you can raise this flex pipe and you can get it for in the bottom, the bottom one. And the cat's not screwed in, I'm about to go from the top and screw it back in. And don't forget to put your exhaust back on the hangers. Alright, so I already got the cat in. I tightened those three bolts right there. And uh, don't forget to put your downstream oxygen sensor right there. 
and then from the top just tying everything on top like crisscross it there's 10 studs so just criss go up down left right just do all that tying it up and then just start it up and you should be it that's it oh and don't forget to put this bracket right here that goes from the to, to your transmission to the cat like this bracket right here and you should be good